Have you ever wondered how water extinguishes fire? Here is the answer. Through the process of evaporation, water absorbs an immense amount of heat, drawing energy from the site of the fire and consequently cooling it until the fire is extinguished. Additionally, water vapor smothers the fire, preventing more oxygen from reaching it. Water makes it exceedingly difficult for the fuel to sustain combustion, be it wood, a building, or any other material. It acts as a heat sink, proficiently absorbing the heat. The notion that water and fire are opposites has been ingrained in us since childhood, but the scientific explanation of how and why water extinguishes fire goes beyond this simple dichotomy. It lies in the intricate interplay between the fire's ignition, the properties of water, and the chemistry that occurs when water is poured onto the flames. How does fire ignite? Fire is an exemplar of a chemical reaction known as combustion, which occurs when oxygen in a highly heated state meets a combustible material like wood. According to The Science PT, fire necessitates three elements to ignite, a source of energy, heat or a spark, a fuel source, something that can burn, and a source of oxygen, present in the air. Fire is essentially a rapid and vigorous oxidation, a reaction with oxygen, of the fuel source. In a typical fire, the oxidant that carries the oxygen is usually the air, and the substance that undergoes oxidation is the fuel. The more easily the fuel accepts oxygen and undergoes oxidation, the more susceptible it is to catch fire. Given that fire requires fuel, oxygen, and a heat source to persist, water acts on the fuel element to extinguish the flames. Michael Gallner, an expert on combustion at the University of California, Berkeley, states that water makes it arduous for the fuel, whether it is wood, a building, or anything else, to continue burning. This is primarily because water functions as an excellent heat absorber, proficiently dissipating heat. When wood, for example, burns, the heat of the fire causes the material within the wood to vaporize, transforming it into gas and further igniting the flames. If you were to submerge wood in water, the fire would need to be hot enough to vaporize both the wood and the water. However, due to water's high heat capacity, vaporizing it requires a substantial amount of energy or heat. If the flame expends its energy on vaporizing the water, it will ultimately have less energy available to heat the wood or the fuel. Consequently, when water absorbs heat, it cools down the fuel. If the flame cannot heat the fuel enough to vaporize it, the fire cannot sustain itself and will eventually dissipate and extinguish. From a young age, we are taught that water and fire are opposites. Water can also extinguish fire by creating a barrier between the fuel source and the source of oxygen. How does water function when poured onto a fire? According to Tech Science, to vaporize water, it must first be heated to its boiling point. Raising the temperature of 1 kilogram of water from 20 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius requires 336 kilojoules of heat. To vaporize the boiling water, additional heat energy must be added to break the hydrogen bonds that hold water molecules together in the liquid phase. Fully breaking these hydrogen bonds requires another 2,257 kilojoules of heat. This heat energy required for vaporization is known as latent heat of vaporization. Vaporizing water demands over six times the heat energy needed to raise its temperature to the boiling point. This substantial amount of heat required for water vaporization is the reason why water is particularly effective in extinguishing fires. When water is poured onto the site of a fire, it not only cools the area but also evaporates, absorbing a significant amount of heat from the burning materials. As a result, the fire's location cools down, and its temperature decreases. If the temperature falls below the ignition point of the burning material, the fire is extinguished. In certain fire situations, a different firefighting strategy called water mist is used. It involves spraying tiny droplets of water that resemble steam into the room. This way, a large volume of water vapor is created, displacing oxygen and cooling the flames. While water is an effective extinguishing agent, there are cases where using water is not advisable, such as in metal fires, where it can decompose and generate explosive hydrogen gas. It is essential to consider that in wildfires, water is not used to extinguish the fire but rather to slow its progression. The goal is to aid other firefighting methods. In summary, water's ability to extinguish fire lies in its capacity to absorb and dissipate heat effectively, making it a potent fire suppressant in various scenarios.
However, it is crucial to understand when water should and should not be used as an extinguishing agent, depending on the nature of the fire. 